the Brooklyn Nets blitzed the Hornets with the perfect execution of this quick and simple play. Claxton screens for Seth Curry up top, who then takes just one dribble and passes it back to Kyrie. You see that as the pass goes over to that side, KD is also setting a pick to force the switch from Bridges. And since that happens, at this moment we got both KD and Claxton rolling to the rim. So Kyrie finds Durant with the short pass, he lobs it to the big man who finishes with a dunk. New week ahead of us and new pack of NBA slick plays. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. The Pistons also handled their business on this possession with a two-man game between Cunningham and Bagley. On the strong side, we have a screen for Sadiq Bey to get the handoff and as he curls with the ball, on the other end we have Bagley screening for Kate. So as he gets the pass, you see that he's open, forcing Randall to come out. And with that, you know what follows, the lob and the jam. I love the court vision by Marcus Smart as he orchestrated this bucket on the fast break by telling both guys where to go. As soon as he secures the ball, Smart surveys the entire floor and first signals to White to push forward and then right here, he turns to Tice and tells him as well to dive inside. Marcus then flings a one-hander to the corner and White immediately lobs it to the big man for the beautiful finish all in one motion. The two screens opening up the middle lane for CP3, we don't see this often so I had to feature it. At first sight, this should be two typical back screens for Chris Paul to curl along the three-point line, but at the last moment, Aiton flips the angle and gives his point guard a driving lane straight to Embiid. So once he switches that, DeAndre rolls inside and the point guard delivers the bullet pass for the finish underneath. The Timberwolves force all kinds of switches here from the Celtics, eventually ending up with an open shot for Anthony Edwards who knocks it down. It all happens quickly. Russell hands it off to Beverly who takes off along the perimeter, forcing the switch and as he leaves it for Cat, he continues all the way to the corner to eventually screen for Edwards. He goes to the wing, Cat leaves it for him, the shot and the switch. Moving on with some equally as interesting but a bit simpler plays. I never thought I would say this, but yesterday Davis Bertans rocked the rim with this tomahawk jam. Trey Burke signals and goes to set the second screen for Bertans. As we stop it right here, we see Hernan Gomez trailing and the right side of the paint open. That's because Bertans is known for his shot, but he uses this one and surprises everyone with the dunk. Jalen Brunson runs the point, knows that Reggie is behind him, notices there's only one Jazz defender at the top so he drops the pass, screens and Bullock knocks down the three. Malik Monk flashes all of his athletic abilities on this play as he swings the bullet pass to Westbrook for the corner three. With Steph Curry out, Green found the other splash brother with this typical Draymond maneuver as he exploits the lone man on the perimeter, serving Clay with three points. Similarly, Randall signals to Fournier where the pass should go, makes an off-ball screen and sets the open three for quickly. And last but not least, we gotta give props to Jason Tatum for seeing the extra pass in the corner, only because I think this is a part of his evolution as he would've finished this one himself earlier in his career. Okay, so we're done with the play, so y'all can click away if you want, but I'm gonna play Pirtle and I'm gonna try to play it every day since I'm gonna have the plays of the day and the player of the day as well. First, I always start with my namesake, Stephen Curry. Okay, what we got? We got West and he is either a guard or a forward, taller than 6'2". I'm not really good with American style of, of height, to be honest. Age, younger than 34. And numbers, I'm not good with jersey numbers as well, but that's okay. In the West and not in the Pacific, okay? Let's go. Is Ingram both a guard or a forward? Ingram, okay, Southwest. Southwest, so we got New Orleans, we got Memphis, we got the Texas teams Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio. I know Kelvin Johnson plays all types of positions, but um, is he both? Because the yellow is both at the guard and at the forward spot. That's interesting. So we're close with 6'8 and 24 years of age. He's either 23 or 22. Okay, we're close. Do we go with Keldon? Let's go, Keldon Johnson. Let's see what happens. 
Keldon Johnson. Okay, so we got the position guard forward forward guard but that doesn't help me a lot in between 66 six and 68 we got yellows on both of those so he's got to be 67 guard forward that's kind of taller between 22 and 24 that's got to be 23 years old so we're looking for a 23 year old guard forward at 67 okay Zaire Williams is kind of a lanky guy plays for Memphis um he's both at guard and at forward if i believe um dallas got tim hardaway jr um i mean L luca is a tall guard i don't know if they list him as forward but um houston uh, jalen green is is younger porter jr is younger as well Kenyon martin younger as well how old is zaire though Zaire Williams, is he a, he's a rookie as well. Anyway, if these are all younger, let's go Luca. Let's go Dallas. Let's see what we do. Oh, it's Luca. It's actually Luca. Solved it in four guesses, boy. Not bad for a first portal. Um, let me know in the comments if you played this game, if you like this game, and if you would like to see me solving the player of the day every day after the plays let me know in the comments subscribe and talk to you in the next one peace out